Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking a little bit about basic information of wild rice. Well, even though we call it rice, wild rice is not actually true rice at all. It's really not a grain. It's a seed of a marsh grass and most of the species are native to the Great Lakes region of North America. It grows naturally in shallow freshwater marshes and along the shores of streams and lakes. There's actually four species of wild rice. Three of them are native to North America. The fourth is native to Asia and believe it or not it's actually harvested as a vegetable. Wild rice has long black or dark brown grains and they have a chewy texture and an earthy almost nutty flavor. It is more expensive than brown rice or white rice and it does definitely take longer to cook. It's usually found in rice blends because the flavor complements very well and blends very well with other forms of rice. So a lot of times we'll find rice added to these blends. Now, nutritional aspects. Wild rice is a little higher in protein than whole grains. In addition to protein, it's a good source of fiber, folate, magnesium, phosphorus, manganese, zinc, vitamin B6, and niacin. In addition to all that, it has a little fewer calories than brown rice or even white rice. And it's naturally gluten-free, so that's helpful to a lot of people there. Research on the health benefits of wild rice is slim pickings. It's not a major part of our diet and so there's not a lot of um, call to have a lot of research on this food. In 1994, researchers at the University of Minnesota found that wild rice was very high in antioxidants. Following up on that, in 2009, scientists at the University of Manitoba found that the antioxidant level of wild rice is 30 times higher than that of white rice. Well, that's quite a boost there, so that alone is good reason to include wild rice in your diet. That same year, in 2009, researchers in China found that wild rice lowered the cholesterol and other blood lipids in animals. Was not tested in people, but maybe they're doing that by now. We hope so. Anyway, I do hope that this little bit of information about wild rice will help you out and hopefully give you some incentive to include that in your diet once in a while. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.